friends, Britt McKillop, voice of Arumi and many other My Little Ponies and other things and well you've done a million things but welcome yeah. to the Brett Miller Boy Show. Thanks! Hello everybody! Okay first of all, thank it's you for having me. really good to have a, a women on my channel because I think I have too many dudes on my, you know. Oh yeah, you gotta mix it up. Yes. Yeah. Second of all, you played the, the main villain of the last few seasons of Ninjago. I would say that you were the most loved person at the start and then hate. Not towards you, but your yeah, character. Yeah, I discovered that, yeah. <laughs> hate, to be, when you turn, you were hated. And then, I would say, to be honest with you, um, where your character has gone, um, and the whole ending and everything with her, yeah. I would say you were loved again. Did you I know, know that? yeah, well, because I, I mean, of course, I always do this. Like, I go on and I'm like, what do people think? <laughs> and of course, I find the people that are like, oh, she's awful, get her off the show, I can't wait for her to die. Yes. And then, because it turns out she has a heart. Mm. And then people were like, well, you know, I have to be honest, I did like her ending. At the last scene before you, where you die, mm -hmm. you're on a building and you give this, like, <sighs> breath. It was like that. I, I know this because I YouTube it today. <laughs> and then the entire building goes <laughs> down to the ground. And then Lloyd's got this moment where he's like, Harumi. And yeah. you look at him from across the way. And it's and, like, oh. Yes. And then you go down. Do you think she's dead? I'm afraid to say. I don't know. I mean, uh, I hope she's not dead. I hope that she, you know rises from the ashes <laughs> and turns good. I think they're, they, the plan is you're dead, yeah. but they also kept it open. Open-ended, yeah. Because you don't see your body. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's the whole thing. Yes. You don't see a body. I think it would be awesome. Obviously, like in fantasy land, I'm like, oh, what if she came back and she, you know, joined the good guys and right. she and Lloyd, you know, had their thing again and that would be so cool. Do you ship the roomie? Uh, am I missing something? Did you, did you ship it? Did I ship it? Yeah, do you ship it? Do I ship... Lurumi. Lurumi. Yes. Ship Lurumi? Yes. It's a, it, I'm so, seriously, I don't know what bug I know. Is. That's why I'm so excited. What? <laughs> I thought you would know for sure because you're My Little Pony. Okay. And, and, and My Little Ponies are shipped all the time. Relation ship. So you ah, ship them. Okay. So Lloyd and her room together is... Lurumi. I mean, I knew what that was. I just didn't know what the term was. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, so you're shipped. Okay, cool. <laughs> but but do you, is it a good ship? Do you like that ship? I don't hate it. I like it. And, and I think I like it. So the point is, you, you, you think that Lloyd and you... Yeah, I think they have a really special connection. And it bummed me out <laughs> that she turns out to be such a jerk. <laughs> what, when did you find that out? Well, I guess I kind of knew all along because in my audition I had to do sort of two separate kind of reads like okay. well in you know one where she's more gentle and genuine and and then in the next part of the audition it was like her turning evil. I, I didn't know that they were going to kill me off and I still don't know if I've been killed off. I think I remember talking to you earlier on and you said, yeah, you weren't even sure if it was just a few episodes. I thought it was just like kind of a quick guest appearance. I did not think that I would appear throughout. Two seasons. Yeah, that really shocked me. As the main, as like, the main baddie. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was so, obviously I was thrilled. I had so much fun working on Ninjago. Like, so much fun. I've never, I've never been able to do something like that where I got to be, you know, the... Now, I usually get those kind of roles where it's like the happy, right. princessy character, and and to turn bad, it was fun. First day out with us, do you remember the? I gave you a comment. I remember. Do you remember what I said about the voice you were doing? I said you oh, sound God. like dot dot dot. Was it a Disney princess? Yes. <laughs> you do. You lit, your voice was so pure and clean. I was like. When, when we started it, I was like, she sounds just like a Disney princess. Like, <laughs> did you have to sing in your audition? No. Oh, you mean for the little song? The spider song. The spider song, which there was nothing prepared. But it's in the house. I can't remember the lyrics. So sleep deep, don't wake up for us. Uh, you find a spider in your mouth. And yes, I think but, that's it. but you did it creepier. 
Yeah. More whisper. Oh yeah, like it was really just yes. no. creepy as can be. It's my memory, so yeah. maybe we remember together. Yes, yeah. But words are on the page, and they just said, Brit, can you make up something A melody, yeah. Oh. Probably ripped off some melody I, that I heard before, I don't know. You guys might not know this, but Brit is actually a musician. She's a professional recording artist. <laughs> You and your sister were in a band called One More Girl. You were in the pop country music scene. Your dad's a music producer. Your mom's a country songwriter. Yeah. And you're, like, you've played. What's that country? I'm not a country boy, so I forget. <laughs> but what's that one huge place that you played um, in Nashville? Oh, the Grand Ole Opry. <laughs> okay, for any of you country people, you just went nuts on that. I, I just know that that's the place. It is. Was that that, that, was, that was like the highlight of my life for sure. <laughs> Where can they look at your music? Facebook, One More Girl Facebook. Um, we are on iTunes obviously and um, Twitter and Instagram, the works. So One More Girl. Just One More Girl. Do it all. When, when we get, hear some new stuff from you guys. Um, and actually we're working on new music right now. We just got back from Nashville and we are pretty much done. Um, just have a few finishing touches and then we'll be releasing a new EP and I'm very excited. It's not very often that I have a recording artist in my house. Can I spring something on you? What? Can, can you do something with me? What? I'm thinking <laughs> that you can jam on this. Oh no, 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 no. You do a, a, a one minute uh, impromptu duet. Oh my gosh, okay. Are you uh, down? Uh, okay. She didn't know this was coming. do have my own Instagram. It's Britters underscore McKillop. I think I did Britters because that's like what some of some people call me. Some of my friends and family call me Britters. Follow Britters. <laughs> I post up a lot of cat stuff. So just like warning. Seriously? Yeah. You're a cat lady? I'm a cat lady. A lot of comments, people complimenting how awesome you were at, were at switching from nice to evil. So I was wondering if you can run a line with me. Mm -hmm. And I'll play the part of Zane. Okay. You'll play, you know, Harumi. And the first part you play nice, Harumi, and then you switch. Okay, okay. ready? Okay. I would really like some tea. I'm sorry, Harumi. We only have coffee. I said, I would really like some tea! Favorite part of working on Ninjago? Listening to all the jokes, first of all, because everybody's so funny. It's, it's like a bunch of comedians in a room mm -hmm. getting together and just sitting back and watching and it, it's so entertaining. I learn a lot at every session. Um, I like to just watch and see what I can take away from it. Um, and it's very educational, it's a lot of fun, and you know, it's like good friends. Had you seen any of Ninjago before you came to the first record? I, I, no, I hadn't seen, I'd only seen what I YouTube. Yeah, I mean, I think I watched a little bit of what was on Netflix. Like, I watched a little bit of one episode so I could get a little bit familiar with it. I'd never even heard of Ninjago before I auditioned. Oh, what, I'm didn't you audition for Nia? No. It's really cool. When I, when I learned about the show, I was like, wow, this is a really cool Pretty show. Cool. And it's, it's a big show. Everybody really likes it. And, I mean, yeah, I was, I'm actually glad that I didn't know a lot about it because I get really nervous. 
So I think if I had known sort of the following and yeah. the, you know the fans probably have high expectations and um, I would have been it would have been a lot of pressure for me. They're also on My Little Pony, which is a high expectation show. Yeah, I mean, and that's another one. Like I'm I'm glad that I sort of I booked that role early on because like I said, I get really nervous. Really, you get you get nervous like going in for really nervous. Were yeah. you nervous on the first day of Ninjago? Extremely. I was, really? Yeah. I was mean, it because the writers were up and the producers yeah. or just because... Everybody was there. Um, <clears throat> I Yeah, I knew that people that I'd, I'd worked with before, but that I'm also just... I'm a I'm big fan of the people that I get to work with on occasion. And, right. it, and it's nerve-wracking because these people have been in the business for so long and they're so talented and just their range is incredible. What do you like most about your character design? I like the hair. This is where the evil were evil. evil. Okay. I like the, the face thing. Yeah. It's like makeup. I Man, you know, I like makeup, so. Do you have your mini fig? No, I don't. You're, you're with, with uh, my with Caroline, my same agent. Yeah. Look at my description below. You're going to see my agent every video in the description. If you want to send Brit any fan mail or a Harumi mini fig, send it to Caroline. Right? Yes, please. Yes. There you go.